So this is a video that I watched not too long ago and it talked a little bit about kind of looking at all the different things that we do from a business or content creator perspective and figuring out how can we automate some of these things a little bit faster. So to that point, uh, I use LumaFusion a lot, as you guys probably know, to do pretty much all of my video editing, including this video that you're watching right now. So there's a feature in LumaFusion that's been super helpful uh, to me once I discovered it that I wanna share with you guys today. And it has to do with being able to sort of make changes to some of the defaults on things that you may manually change frequently like I've been doing. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this works and hope you guys find it helpful. All right, so check this out. So we have the video here, right? And so there's certain things that it's important to like look at and say, oh wow, I'm doing this every single time I do this and there has to be an easier way. And in this case, there is. So let me give you guys an example. Right now I have my uh, cross dissolve or transitions set to three seconds. And I think by default, this is maybe set to like one second or something. So I know that I prefer hey, what's up, y'all? Cordmaster here. So we have the OPC. a slower transition like that, right? But by default, it's set to one second. That looks like, I think around here, pretty sure it's one second. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Hey, what's up, y'all? Cordmaster. Right? Still good, but this is what we need to do, right? If you want to make it so that your transitions are set to a specific um, time length, you can go to settings and right over here at the bottom, it says transitions and you can make it so that by default, I think if you double tap, it'll default to whatever your default setting is, which is indeed one second. Um, but you can make it your three seconds or maybe you want your transitions to be five seconds. Does anyone want their transitions to be five seconds by default? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm curious. All right, so I think now if I bring this down, as you can see, now we have a five second hey, what's up, y'all? transition. Here. So we have the OPZ and All we right. have the- So short video today, I just wanted to kind of show you guys and, and think, think through the lens. Let me turn my camera back around here. All right, so that's it for today's video. And I, I want you guys to really think through the lens of like sort of looking at things like this and identify how can I make this easier and and automate this process so that I'm not always doing the same thing video after video week after week. I think like over time it'll certainly save you a lot of time, but in the immediacy of it immediacy? Yeah. And the in sort of the the this time frame when you're doing it each individual time it may not seem like a lot cuz it only takes an extra 10 seconds or 15 seconds. But over time that really does add up, especially when there's many things like this that you can uh, find a way to kind of automate and make a little bit of a more of a seamless process. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.